Okay, guys, for today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to link your orchestra IDE to execute a query in your database, in your SQL database. So, first thing to do is to create your database on your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, whenever you install the orchestra or the Wanderware orchestra, it's this is the requirements so for sure you have this software so once you open the software you create a database once you open it go to database it's easy to add a database just right click the folder for database and create a new database in this case I already created one so I name it test database so in, inside your test database you need to for sure you need to add a table because that is where all the values from your orchestra will be transferred to your database so I have here test database and in this case I already add a table so for those people don't know how to add table you just click the table right click click the table then specify the column that you need to add since I already have I will not show you so here I name my table TBL database for my tables so you already have created one you already have a columns on it that would be easy for you after that the important thing is to add a stored procedure on your table in your database so in the programmability folder and how to add the stored procedure is very easy also you just right click the stored procedure folder click stored procedure Normally, you have already an uh, inbuilt program that has been already given to you. So, in my case, you don't need everything here. You just erase this. I will just show you how to create the stored procedure. So, erase everything. Create a query, a simple query to add a procedure. So, create procedure, your name of your procedure. I'm gonna name it as SP test as begin select select the column that you added in your table here and I said just copy it paste it separated it with comma if you have a dozens a hundred of table you need to add it one by one since I only have three, I'm gonna add three only. So careful for this because you need to add everything here from your table name, which is the TBL database. And after that, <coughs> end it, then go. So once I execute this, I'm gonna add automatically the stored procedure click this and click execute once it's successfully completed you can close this it's up to you if you save it I don't want to save it as you can see <coughs> I still don't have the uh, yeah I already have the test here but once you already open it it will not show here so what you need to do is to just right click and then refresh then it will show the procedure that you created now I have the, the stored procedure I will just delete this so that you will not confuse because I already created one so I name it as SP database so inside this procedure you need to modify it so I already have also the script, the query 
on my stored procedure so don't worry I will just paste this on the link below so you can just copy it and then edit so it's a normal query script so just alter this procedure DBO the procedure name the column and you need these are the variables that you need to assign as float it's up to you if it's an integer it's a string it's a date or whatever and as begin no no count on then this is the important one because this values from your variables we're gonna send this to your table the values we're gonna send to the table so all of your column will be here and your variables that you already assign it oh sorry so I'm gonna paste this in the link below so after that you already done it you just execute it it's important to execute it so that it's gonna save this query on your stored procedure so after that you already have the table you already have the stored procedure now you're ready to go to transfer the data from your orchestra to the database so here is my object if you don't have an object then you need to add another object so how to do that is in a separate video just uh, check on my video so that you know how to add an object so I have here an object it, I name it as trial and you have to you have to have the the trigger bit which I name it as execute SQL how to add an attributes just click this duplicate or you click the plus button you name your attribute uh, sign it as boolean the data type See, I already have I don't need to add one just use the existing one which is the execute SQL and after that I also have here some of the attributes we're gonna transfer to database so I'm gonna transfer this temperature so in your script the upper tab you have here the script click this and add a script I have some of the script don't don't mind this you need to add one if you don't have in adding just click the plus the name your script since I already have to make this video more faster I already have the script that I name as execute query so in enable to trigger this script I need to assign an expression which is me inside this object and uh, and the attribute that we created a while ago this one after that if this is always on true while on true every five seconds it's gonna send the data for this to your database so again I'm gonna paste this script on the link below so that we'll just just change whatever values what you have into the script so this is important the most important thing is to assign a connection string for server name here this is important you need should be the same on the database that you have how to see that is you guys go back to your database right click the main then go to properties then you see here the name you just copy this copy this and then paste it on the script on your orchestra so after that gonna be separated by semicolon the word database is equals to what database you gonna transfer the data so since my database name is test database here how to check that is you just go back to your database here is your 
here is your database the test database you just copy this after copying that paste it on your script then it's up to you if you're using the integrated security which is very easy and I recommend this if you if you forgot the password for your database then you're gonna use this you just assign the integrated security equals to true and that's it so after that the second important thing is your s query which is your stored procedure in my case I name it as sp database that is the one that you created a while ago this one in the programmability stored procedure and this one you just copy this one do not include the db or something just copy it and then paste it on the script on your orchestra after pasting it the third important thing is to add the parameter on your stored procedure so the parameter we have since I only I only put three on my table which is the database CPU load database CPU average and the machine temperature where can I see that again it's it's, it's from your table here your columns this is the one so I mean these are the one the, the variables that you being assigned okay so uh, after that the parameters you need to transfer the value from the from this orchestra to your variables so in this case you just change this from the column that you have uh, from the variables that you have on your stored procedure so I assigned the first column on this so it's up to you on wh whatever you want to put here in my case how did I get this I, I just take say take some variables or take some uh, data from the engine this is only for example see here the load and the average and the last the last variable that we assign is the temperature which is from my attributes this one me that temperature so that's the only thing that you need to add to change or something after that you save it after saving it you deploy gonna open it again to check if everything is correct in this case go back to my script I send a data every five seconds it's up to you it's 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 it might be if I once I triggered it that's the time you're gonna send the data it's up to you in my case I just put five seconds I'm gonna store the value to the database so how to check if it's working just go to your table select top you see here I already have value so as you can see I already have a lot of value here since I already created this before I started this video so I can check if it's really working so like for example I'm gonna delete this so that you can see if it's really transferring the data I'm gonna edit the top 200 rows delete everything oh gonna be a design delete everything So 
So I, another I have a value here. Let me let, let, let me stop this for a while so it will not give always a value. So how 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 did I force the value? Go just right click the object, view in object viewer. Modify. Okay, now it will not to stop transferring the data. Execute, go back, problem attempting to this row one, okay, oops, Okay, this group I cannot delete it. Okay, so I can create a query to delete it. Delete from okay. execute. Right now, everything is deleted. execute so nothing here so let's let's turn on again the bit okay see as you can see again it, it will every five seconds you're gonna generate value it's pretty much easy So that's how you execute a query using your orchestra IDE.